this could be stopped. You know why? The reason is he's on Facebook. He has said, I want to kill people and children. He's got friends. Obviously, they saw that. Right now at five, chilling new details tonight and the deadly shooting of a woman and her grandchild at a public supermarket in Royal Palm Beach. Police just wrapped up a news conference and revealed the gunman first shot the baby, then the child's grandmother, before turning the gun on himself. Making matters worse, they say someone could have prevented it if they just said something. CBS 4's Austin Carter has new details live tonight from West Palm Beach, Austin. And Carly, the sheriff says that the red flags were clearly there, but law enforcement never heard a thing about this man. And the big question here lingers, what was the motive? Well, investigators are still trying to figure that out. And if it sounds like I'm angry, I am, because if somebody would have gotten involved and called us on the phone and said, hey, this may not be anything, but it may be something, because this person is talking about bad things. An emotional plea from Sheriff Rick Bradshaw that a horrifying triple shooting inside a South Florida Publix could have been avoided. Law enforcement says there is still no known tie between the suspect, 55-year-old Timothy Wall, and his two victims, a 69-year-old grandmother and her one-year-old grandson. Then if somebody would have let us know who he is, we would have contacted him, see if he's got a gun, get him into mental health, and you wouldn't have two people dead. Investigators also now providing the troubling timeline of what happened inside the public supermarket in Royal Palm Beach. The horror unfolding in just two minutes inside the produce section Thursday morning. The youngest victim was first. From one behind one aisle to the next where the child was parked in his little shopping cart. He takes out his gun and he fires one round killing the child. After the grandma struggled with the suspect, he shoves her to the ground then shoots her. He then turns the gun on himself. A small memorial now sits outside the Publix with stuffed animals and flowers. The store is closed. We at this point have offered grief counseling to our associates and we have tremendously appreciated the outpouring of support from our community. And Wall has no previous criminal history, but we are looking into the suspect's past money troubles. Plus, a criminologist weighs in on what's happening and why we keep seeing these recent gun violence incidents happening right here in South Florida. I'll have all those details for you coming up on CBS 4 News at 6. We are live in West Palm Beach. I'm Austin Carter, CBS 4 News. Austin, very disturbing details there. Thank you for that live report.